Hey everyone, I just wanted to make this video to formally thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. I know it's not always the best idea to be super numbers driven and have such a clear goal when working on something, but 10,000 was a number I wanted to hit here on YouTube for the better part of the last few years. As you know, if you've been around for a while, my channel has been a slow grind. I haven't ever had a video blow up overnight or really even gain tons of traction. The success that I've had has just been through consistency and added value to you guys, the viewers. My channel has also changed over the years. It's always kind of followed whatever my interest at the time was. So when I really started taking it seriously back freshman year of college, what was my focus? My focus at that point in time was doing well in school and kind of taking advantage of the college experience. So a lot of my videos were about that, rushing a fraternity, joining student orgs. That was the focus. Then as time went on, I started focusing more on applying for internships and how to have success doing that. And then of course, just naturally doing the life videos of internships at school and everything that follows that. Then senior year came around and things got real. And I then was applying for full-time jobs and that was my major focus. So a lot of content evolved around that, as well as a lot of videos for myself trying to memorialize my last few months on campus at UF. And since moving to New York City, there's obviously been plenty of opportunity for, for content, but the focus has been my job and the GMAT and professional development. So I totally do understand why maybe the growth of my channel has been a little strange just because I almost do change the niche every few years. But fortunately, it seems like where I am now is going to stick, not just because that's going to remain a major focus of my life for the rest of my career, but also all of you guys, the viewers, are evolving in your own lives. I know when I started, a lot of you were in high school and you were looking to get into UF. And from there, you know, you became a business student and you're applying for internships and now you're applying for full-time jobs and will one day be looking to progress in your career. So I think the coolest thing for me is that I've been able to grow right alongside you guys. And I think for myself, I never really had a true mentor in a traditional sense in terms of someone a year or two years older than me that was doing something that I wanted to do. And so I really hope that I can be that person for you guys. And I really hope that I already have done that to hopefully a certain extent. That's kind of what leads me here today. And I'm sitting at just over 10,000 subscribers, which is so cool. I think that number gives me a lot more credibility than I had before. When I started on YouTube, so many people honestly made fun of me, gave me a hard time, didn't understand it. And I think YouTube in general has changed so much in the last few years. It's so much more mainstream now than it was five years ago. But even regardless of all the cultural changes, around YouTube, hitting 10K just gives me so much more credibility for the fact that I'm still doing this. I think so many people at this stage of their life, after college, when you're working a full-time to man a job, they give up some of those things. And for myself, I've, I've always found so much joy in these things, and this is what gets me up every day. I'm very fortunate to love and enjoy my job, but I think what keeps me so excited and so disciplined bring so much energy to every day is that I have all these things going on in my life outside of just my work. And so that's why I've just been so grateful to be able to bring that to you guys here on YouTube. And again, there's been so many other opportunities that have presented themselves through this channel. Not only am I making some income from this, not a ton, but some income, that's a huge thing. But then also just the business experiences that I've learned. Whether it's negotiating a brand deal or learning some new technology for editing, these are things that I wouldn't necessarily have tons of exposure to in my day job. And therefore, I think as I progress in my career are going to make me an even more standout candidate for certain roles that I'd be interested in. And outside of all of this, I think it's just been so cool to have been able to document my life on YouTube for the better part of the last five years. Now, especially that I'm doing these weekly vlogs, I'm able to capture so much and I feel that it does provide a very authentic look at my life and that's just been great for me not to like I said before kind of memorialize some of these experiences because I understand my life now is going to look a lot different than when it'll look like a year from now five years from now certainly 10 years from now so I'm very grateful to have been documenting this so I can go back and look at it because 
a few weeks ago, I actually looked through some of those vlogs I had from early on in my college days, and then especially those senior year videos. And it really put a lot of things in perspective for me because everything I was working towards then was to put me where I am now. I mean, I was studying so hard for school to get the grades, to get the internship, to get the full-time job, to move to New York City. And it's easy when you're in it every single day to kind of lose that perspective, but I'm living the life I dreamed of. And I think the difference is that it wasn't just a dream, you know, that I was working hard towards that goal every single day, but that kind of creates an issue. And something that I see occurring for a lot of people is that once they accomplish that goal, they're kind of stuck and they don't know what's next. You know, they worked so hard to get that investment banking job in New York City. And once they're there, they don't have that purpose anymore. And I think that's why this YouTube channel has always been so powerful for me because yes, I have those very clear goals that, you know, when I accomplish them, I can check them off. But for YouTube and personal growth, there's no finish line. It is just a constant journey. And I think that's the most exciting thing is that I feel that my perspective on life and my perspective on how I approach each and every day is so different because I have those infinite goals. So yes, although I am very happy that I've reached 10,000 subscribers and that was a huge milestone for myself and something I was looking forward to for a while, by no means is it the end and by no means am I complacent uh, with where I am. It has been such an amazing experience being able to bring you guys into my life and also just help you guys fulfill your own dreams. It's been surreal living in New York City now and being able to have coffee chats with you guys and, you know, meet you in person. That has been such a cool experience. So, of course, if you ever find yourself in New York or you just want to give me a phone call, definitely reach out. I'm always happy to do that. But yeah, just wanted to make this video to really formally thank you because Obviously, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And yeah, overall, I'm just looking forward to continue learning and growing here together. And with all of that said, thank you so much again for watching this video, for watching any video. I am so infinitely grateful and I'm just looking forward to everything that's in store for the future. So with all this said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.